What's going on guys, Aries here, and today I'm bringing you the Atlanta setup. So get ready, strap on your boots, cars haul and tail. As you can see right there on the practice results, uh, lap five there, we just did a solo real quick. 29-143, and that is without draft influence, guys, without draft influence. So with draft, I uh, guarantee you're gonna see 29 flats and the 28-9 barrier more or less likely. But without further ado, I'm gonna get on the track, show you guys how to run it, and then we'll get to some numbers. So uh, let's head on in there real fast, and uh, let's hit the road. If you guys like the videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. Many more coming out. Uh, you know, I like to take time on these tracks, so that's why I'm not just flinging videos out left and right. Making sure I'm giving you guys a good product. Let these cars go by. You might have a draft influence on this run, which is all right. You guys can see the best lap so far as that. And that was solo, so I guess we'll find out what this car can do in the draft. We'll draft off him, why not? We'll go to the high side. Oh, so pretty nice, as you guys can see. Split those cars, why not, right? traffic. And there it is. So that was lap three we even went into the 21s. As you see, it would run faster in the beginning if uh, you give it some time. Clearly I had to dodge some traffic there, but that 1.9 three came uh, laps three without any draft influence so as you guys can imagine this thing will go a little bit faster in the early stages uh, then you'll have your typical fall off so without further ado let's go ahead and get ourselves into those pits and uh, we'll get to it sounds good sounds good all right so there's your guys's results we had 29 three because uh, obviously we had to go to the high side to wiggle through some traffic same thing on the 29.2, and then once we got into the open, we were able to get down to the 29.1 by the time we were already on lap three. So let's go ahead and shoot down real quick, and let's go ahead and uh, let's show you the setup. All right, guys, here we go for Atlanta. We're running 7.9, seven, 7.9 nine, seven, nine combination up there in the front shock settings with the rear left bump, right bump, etc. with 7.8, 9.9. That gives you that really good shock absorber since Atlanta is really, really bumpy. And uh, that'll get you through the transitions really, really smooth. You're still gonna feel the dips and bumps and stuff, but it's the car's gonna stay connected, I, I guarantee that. Going down to left weight, 54.2 with the front weight of 51.7. The 51.7 is essential, guys. Uh, if you decide to drop that, I'm gonna guarantee the back end's gonna come around on you. Uh, wedge, 49.8. Uh, the ride height's right there at 4.375 with another 4.375. Reason why I'm not running those slam low is uh, bottoming out possibilities. Also, spring settings. We'll jump right up over there. 1,200, 1,160 on that right front. The left spring of 570 and right spring of 590. Tire settings. A little bit of adjustments from your stock setup. I believe stock goes like 20, uh, 22 and like 50, something like that. But nonetheless, made some adjustments there. 23 pounds with a 52 pound with another 23 pounds on that left right rear, and, or excuse me, uh, left rear tire, and uh, with a uh, staggered right rear power pressure of 51 over that 52. That Moving on over to the cameras, 2.2 degrees with a negative 1.6 on the right front there, front sway bar 1.435, 
Left track bar, 11.13, with the right track bar of 11.13. Brake bias is going to be 70, grill tape, 50. Keep in mind, you might need to drop the grill tape a little bit, depending on how long of the race, and just in case you start seeing any overheating methods. Methods, by that I mean overheating things. You know what I mean? Anyway, wheel lock, 7 degrees, with a steering offset of 0.175. Gears, 2.70, with a wind point 90, 135. 105 fourth gear make sure you change that rear end differential to 3.07 once again guys i hope this setup helps you it's very fast you guys should be able to control it both wheel and controller if you have not uh gotten good settings for your wheels go to my youtube channel and uh take a look around there is some wheel settings videos there there's also ridgeman setup already put out that's really fast guys this will get you where you need to be i hope you guys enjoy once again please like and subscribe to the channel and as always, stay fast, and we'll see you out on the track. Aries out.